Demolition is probably one of the most interesting parts of construction work. As we build more structures, there comes a point where we need to demolish other buildings as it is exceeded its design life. We also tend to demolish buildings either for safety reasons or to make room for newer buildings. Demolition is the process of dismantling a building either by pre-plan or control method. It usually involves highly trained experts working with debris, weather conditions, materials, mass and physics. Because we keep building, we are now entering a new world where skyscrapers and other huge buildings are becoming redundant and they need significant renovation or replacement. And this process is called on building or we can also call it deconstruction. So let's first of all take a look at the pre-demolition process of a building. Before a demolition is executed, the expert must consider several different factors. And a demolition process is customized for each project and they typically involve the following steps. In this step, the experts examine the different characteristics of a building, such as the materials used, the building usage, the method of construction, the condition of the building, the drainage condition, the traffic conditions, the building code, and neighboring communities and proper studies of these parameters will help to dictate the best demolition method. In this step, specialized personnel is called upon in order to remove dangerous materials from the building before the demolition takes place. And these hazardous materials will include asbestos minerals, they include radioactive substances, flammable materials, and petroleum contamination. In demolition plan, the experts craft a detailed plan illustrating what will be involved in the demolition, how it will be carried out, the equipment which are going to be used, and how much debris will need to be cleaned up. Then finally, the safety measures. In safety measures, the site workers, supervisors, operators, and engineers are advised of potential hazards such as flammable materials and exposure to noise and dust during the demolition process. And the demolition company must also secure the proper permit. After the demolition process is complete, the next step is to select the safety and most efficient demolition method that stays within budget. And not all demolitions end in explosions. The different methods can range from devastating blasts to non-explosive piece-by-piece removers. Some include implosions, excavators, wrecking balls, bulldozers, and selective demolition. But we are going to focus on implosions and excavators. Implosions is by far the most impressive method of demolishing a building. But due to their specialized nature, implosions are used in less than 1% of demolition projects. Basically, implosions is the process of using explosives to knock out the building main support, which cause the building to collapse from the inside out. Buildings can be exploded in one of two ways. If the space is limited, explosives are fitted into the building left columns, making it fall to the side when denoted. And this method is a safer method because cables are often used to control the building collapse. But if the space is limited, the second method involves placing explosives in the building lower support system and middle sections, which cause the building to fall onto itself. Building implosions require the knowledge of experts and they are called blasters. And this implosion is often used to demolish large structures in urban areas. And a successful implosion will require the following steps. It will require blueprint examination. In this step, blasters study blueprints of a building in order to determine which area needs to be blasted. Secondly, we have site preparation. In this step, crews prepare a site by taking out the non-load bearing walls. They take out the weakness support columns and also the wrapping columns with fencing in order to have a successful demolition and also with less flying debris. Then thirdly, determine explosive. In this step, blasters select an explosive based on the building materials and they use dynamite which releases shock wave and are best used to demolish concrete columns. 
The fourth step is load explosive. In this step, the explosive are poured into columns, generally in support columns and a few upper stories in order to make it easier to break the building into smaller pieces. And finally, time detonation. In this step, blasters first build up an electric charge. When the current is sent through the wire, it heats up and ignites the flammable substance, setting off the main explosive. Therefore, blasters can time their detonations by setting slow burning materials in order to delay the explosions. For smaller buildings like homes and offices, an excavator is often used to dismantle the structure. But buildings with over 60 feet tall, as well as those made of masonry, concrete, and steel, would require a more heavy duty machine like a high rich excavator. High rich demolition is considered a cleaner, safer way to dismantle structures. And this is because it causes fewer flying debris, less dust, less noise, and risk to the operator. Also, reduced noise pollution from high rich demolition help protect the safety of the surrounding communities. The building itself is demolished mainly from the attachment affixed to the excavator. The most common are shares, their are crushers and hydraulic armors. The two equipped arms pulls down and break the structure from the top to bottom. Then special ground crews then uses armors, they use sledge armors and also crushers in order to reduce the pieces to rumble. So, these are building demolitions and some of the techniques which are used to demolish high-rise buildings. What do you think about this demolition technique? Let us know in the comment section below and before you leave, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel in the tutorial for more civil engineering construction videos like this. And with that being said, you all have a good and a wonderful day. God bless you all. Bye bye.